In this video, I'll show you how to replace the outdoor GFCI outlet like this one you see right here. Now on this one, you'll notice the reset button is actually broken and that's why it's hanging out. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the old outlet and put in a new one. Before you do any work, you have to make sure you shut off the power going to the outlet. That's done by going to the fuse box and turning off the breaker. And to make sure it's turned off, you can use a plug-in tester like this or a non-contact tester like this. With a non-contact tester, all you have to do is put the tip in the outlet, press a button. If you hear beeping, that means there's still voltage coming out. With a plug-in tester, just plug it in. And if you see it light up, that tells you there's still voltage on it. So now I'm going to go and turn off the breaker. Turn off the breaker. With the breaker turned off, test it again. So now we know there's no voltage on this outlet. Next, remove the two Phillips screws here. Remove the cover. Remove this foam insulation. Now we can remove the outlet by removing these two Phillips screws. There are three wires connected to this outlet. White is neutral, black is hot, and the copper wire is ground. You need to remove all three. Here's a replacement 20 amp GFCI outlet. Now this one I have here is weather resistant, so you can use it for outdoor and also tamper resistant. Comes with a wall plate, user manual, and the outlet itself. As you can see, it's marked WR for weather resistant, TR for tamper resistant, and here's a test button, and there's a reset button. One side has a silver screws for the neutral wire. The other side has a brass screw for the hot wire. And right here is the ground wire. Now if you look on each side, there's a top screw and a bottom screw. The back tells you the top one is for line input and the bottom screw is for load output. So we'll connect these wires to the top screws. The first wire I'm connecting is a ground wire. Next I'll connect the neutral wire. Now plug in the top hole and then tighten the screw. Next, insert the black or hot wire into the brass screw side and tighten this screw. Now push the wires into the box. Reinstall the outlet, tighten the screws. Reinstall the foam insulation, put the cover back on. Reinstall two screws. Now go and turn on the breaker. With the breaker turned back on, you can do a quick test on the GFCI. Here's a reset. Here's a test. Make sure you push the reset in. I'll use my tester here to check if it's live. Yes, it is. And that's it. This is how you replace the outside GFCI outlet at your home. For a list of parts and tools used in this video, check out the link below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching this video. To support this channel, remember to click on thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and turn on the notification bell so you get notified of new videos.